brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Syria Syria, officially known as the Syrian Arab Republic, is a country in Western Asia, bordering Lebanon and the Mediterranean Sea to the west, Turkey to the north, Iraq to the east, Jordan to the south, and Israel to the southwest. Syria's capital and largest city is Damascus. A country of fertile plains, high mountains, and deserts, Syria is home to diverse ethnic and religious groups, including Syrian Arabs, Greeks, Armenians, Assyrians, Kurds, Circassians, Mandeans and Turks. Religious groups include Sunnis, Christians, Alawites, Druze, Mandeans, Shiites, Salafis, Yazidis, and Jews. Sunni Arabs make up the largest religious group in Syria. In English, the name Syria was formerly synonymous with the Levant. While the modern state encompasses the sites of several ancient kingdoms and empires, including the Eblan civilization of the 3rd millennium BC, its capital Damascus, and largest city Aleppo are among the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. In the Islamic era, Damascus was the seat of the Umayyad Caliphate and a provincial capital of the Mamluk Sultanate in Egypt. The modern Syrian state was established after the end of centuries of Ottoman control in World War I as a French mandate and represented the largest Arab state to emerge from the formerly Ottoman-ruled Arab Levant. It gained independence as a parliamentary republic on 24 October 1945, when Syria became a founding member of the United Nations, an act which legally ended the former French mandate although French troops did not leave the country until April 1946. The post-independence period was tumultuous and a large number of military coups and coup attempts shook the country in the period 1949-71. In 1958, Syria entered a brief union with Egypt called the United Arab Republic, which was terminated by the 1961 Syrian coup d'Aqtat. The Arab Republic of Syria came into being in late 1961 after December 1st constitutional referendum, and was increasingly unstable until the Ba'athist coup d'Aqtat, since which the Baath party has maintained its power. Syria was under emergency law from 1963 to 2011, effectively suspending most constitutional protections for citizens. Bashar al-Assad has been president since 2000 and was preceded by his father Hafez al-Assad, who was in office from 1970 to 2000. Syria is a member of one international organization other than the United Nations, the Non-Aligned Movement. It has become suspended from the Arab League on November 2011 and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, and self-suspended from the Union for the Mediterranean. Since March 2011, Syria has been embroiled in an uprising against Assad and the Ba'athist government as part of the Arab Spring, a crackdown that contributed to the Syrian civil war and to Syria's becoming one of the most violent countries in the world. Since the start of the war in 2011, a number of self-proclaimed state entities have since emerged on Syrian territories, including the Syrian opposition, the Federation of Northern Syria and Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. Syria is the world's most violent country according to the Global Peace Index, and is ranked last in the Global Peace Index. Etymology The name Syria is derived from the 8th century BC Luan term, Sura, I, and the derivative ancient Greek name, Or, both of which originally derived from Ashura U in northern Mesopotamia. However, from the Seleucid Empire, this term was also applied to the Levant and 
From this point the Greeks applied the term without distinction between the Assyrians of Mesopotamia and Arameans of the Levant. Mainstream modern academic opinion strongly favors the argument that the Greek word is related to the cognate, ultimately derived from the Akkadian. In the past, others believed that it was derived from Syrian, the name that the Sidonians gave to Mount Hermon. However, the discovery of the Chinekoi inscription in 2000 seems to support the theory that the term Syria derives from Assyria, whose ancient homeland was located in modern northern Iraq. The area designated by the word has changed over time. Classically, Syria lies at the eastern end of the Mediterranean, between Arabia to the south and Asia Minor to the north, stretching inland to include parts of Iraq, and having an uncertain border to the northeast that Pliny the Elder describes as including, from west to east, Comagene, Sophene, and Adiabene. By Pliny's time, however, this larger Syria had been divided into a number of provinces under the Roman Empire, Judea, later renamed Palestina in AD 135 in the extreme southwest. Phoenix corresponding to modern Lebanon, Damascus and Homs regions, Seal, Syria south of the Eleutherus River, and Iraq. Ancient Antiquity since approximately 10,000 BC, Syria was one of centers of Neolithic culture where agriculture and cattle breeding appeared for the first time in the world. The following Neolithic period is represented by rectangular houses of Muribet culture. At the time of the pre-pottery Neolithic, people used vessels made of stone, gyps and burnt lime. Finds of obsidian tools from Anatolia are evidences of early trade relations. Cities of Hamouka and Emar played an important role during the late Neolithic and Bronze Age. Archaeologists have demonstrated that civilization in Syria was one of the most ancient on Earth, perhaps preceded by only those of Mesopotamia. Eblates and Amorites the earliest recorded indigenous civilization in the region was the Kingdom of Eblania, present-day Idlib, northern Syria. Ebla appears to have been founded around 3500 BC, and gradually built its fortune through trade with the Mesopotamian states of Sumer, Assyria, and Akkad, as well as with the Hurrian and Hattian peoples to the northwest, in Asia Minor. Gifts from pharaohs, found during excavations, confirm Ebla's contact with Egypt. One of the earliest written texts from Syria is a trading agreement between Vizier Ibrahim of Ebla and an ambiguous kingdom called Abbasal c. 2300 BC. Scholars believe the language of Ebla to be among the oldest known written Semitic languages after Akkadian. Recent classifications of the Eblate language have shown that it was an East Semitic language, closely related to the Akkadian language. Ebla was weakened by a long war with Mari, and the whole of Syria became part of the Mesopotamian Akkadian Empire after Sargon of Akkad, and his grandson Naram Sin's conquest ended Eblan domination over Syria in the first half of the 23rd century BC. By the 21st century BC, Huron settled the northern east parts of Syria while the rest of the region was dominated by the Amorites. Syria was called the land of the Amuru by their Assyro Babylonian neighbors. The Northwest Semitic language of the Amorites is the earliest attested of the Canaanite languages. Mari re emerged during this period and saw renewed prosperity until conquered by Hammurabi of Babylon. Ugari also arose during this time, circa 1800 BC, close to modern Latakia. Ugaritic was a Semitic language loosely related to the Canaanite languages, and developed the Ugaritic alphabet. The Ugarit's kingdom survived until its destruction 
at the hands of the marauding Indo-European Sea peoples in the 12th century BC. Yam had dominated northern Syria for two centuries. Although eastern Syria was occupied in the 19th and 18th centuries BC by the old Assyrian Empire ruled by the Amorite dynasty of Shamshiadad I, and by the Babylonian Empire which was founded by Amorites. Yamhad was described in the Tablets of Mari as the mightiest state in the Near East, and as having more vassals than Hammurabi of Babylon. Yam had imposed its authority over Alalik, Katna, the Hurrian states and the Euphrates Valley down to the borders with Babylon. The army of Yam had campaigned as far away as there on the border of Elam. Yam had was conquered and destroyed, along with Ebla, by the Indo-European Hittites from Asia Minor circa 1600 BC. From this time, Syria became a battleground for various foreign empires, these being the Hittite Empire, Mitanni Empire, Egyptian Empire, Middle Assyrian Empire, and, to a lesser degree, Babylonia. The Egyptians initially occupied much of the south, while the Hittites, and the Mitanni, much of the north. However, Assyria eventually gained the upper hand, destroying the Mitanni Empire, and annexing huge swathes of territory previously held by the Hittites and Babylon. Arameans and Phoenicians Around the 14th century BC, various Semitic peoples appeared in the area such as the semi-nomadic Satians who came into an unsuccessful conflict with Babylonia to the east, and the West Semitic-speaking Arameans who subsumed the earlier Amorites. They too were subjugated by Assyria and the Hittites for centuries. The Egyptians fought the Hittites for control. Over western Syria, the fighting reached its zenith in 1274 BC with the Battle of Kadesh. The West remained part of the Hittite Empire until its destruction c. 1200 BC, while eastern Syria largely became part of the Middle Assyrian Empire, who also annexed much of the West during the reign of Tiglath Piles Arai 1114-1076 BC. With the destruction of the Hittites and the decline of Assyria in the late 11th century BC, the Aramean tribes gained control of much of the interior, founding states such as Bitbahiani, Aram Damascus, Hamath, Aram Rehob, Aram Naharim, and Luhuti. From this point, the region became known as Aramea or Aram. There was also a synthesis between the Semitic Arameans and the remnants of the Indo-European Hittites with the founding of a number of Syro-Hittite states centered in north-central Aram and south-central Asia Minor, including Palestine, Karchemish and Samal. A Canaanite group known as the Phoenicians came to dominate the coasts of Syria. From the 13th century BC, founding city-states such as Amrit, Simira Awad, Paltos, Ramitha, and Shaksi, from these coastal regions they eventually spread their influence throughout the Mediterranean, including building colonies in Malta, Sicily, the Iberian Peninsula, the coasts of North Africa, and most significantly, founding the major city-state of Carthage in the 9th century BC which was much later to become the center of a major empire, rivaling the Roman Empire. Syria and the entire Near East, and beyond then fell to the vast Neo-Assyrian Empire. The Assyrians introduced Imperial Aramaic as the lingua franca of their empire. This language was to remain dominant in Syria and the entire Near East until after the Arab Islamic conquest in the 7th and 8th centuries AD, and was to be a vehicle for the spread of Christianity. The Assyrians named our colonies of Syria and Lebanon Ebenari. Assyrian domination ended after the Assyrians greatly weakened themselves in a series of brutal 
internal civil wars, followed by an attacking coalition of their former subject peoples. The Medes, Babylonians, Chaldeans, Persians, Scythians and Sumerians. During the fall of Assyria, the Scythians ravaged and plundered much of Syria. The last stand of the Assyrian army was at Karchemish in northern Syria in 605 BC. The Assyrian Empire was followed by the Neo-Babylonian Empire. During this period, Syria became a battleground between Babylonia and another former Assyrian colony, that of Egypt. The Babylonians, like their Assyrian relations, were victorious over Egypt. Classical Antiquity The Achaemenid Persians took Syria from Babylonia as part of the hegemony of Southwest Asia in 539 BC. The Persians, having spent four centuries under Assyrian rule, retained Imperial Aramaic as diplomatic language in the Achaemenid Empire, and also the Assyrian name of the satrapy of Aram, Syria Ebenari. Syria was conquered by the Greek Macedonian Empire, ruled by Alexander the Great circa 330 BC, and consequently became Coel Syria province of the Greek Seleucid Empire. It was the Greeks who introduced the name Syria to the region. Originally an Indo-European corruption of Assyria in northern Mesopotamia, the Greeks used this term to describe not only Assyria itself, but also the lands to the west which had for centuries been under Assyrian dominion. Thus in the Greco-Roman world both the Arameans of Syria and the Assyrians of Mesopotamia to the east were referred to as Syrians or Syriacs. Despite these being distinct peoples in their own right, a confusion which would continue into the modern world. Eventually parts of southern Seleucid Syria were taken by Judean Hasmoneans upon the slow disintegration of the Hellenistic Empire. Syria briefly came under Armenian control from 83 BC, with the conquest of Tigranes the Great, who was welcomed as a savior from the Seleucids and Romans by its people. The Armenians retained control of Syria for two decades before being driven out by the Romans. Pompey the Great of the Roman Empire, who captured Antioch in 64 BC, turning Syria into a Roman province. Palmyra, a rich and sometimes powerful native Aramaic-speaking kingdom arose in northern Syria in the 2nd century. The Palmyrene established a trade network that made the city one of the richest in the Roman Empire. Eventually, in the late 3rd century AD, the Palmyrene king Odanathus defeated the Persian emperor Shapul I and controlled the entirety of the Roman East while his successor and widow Zenobia established the Palmyrene Empire, which briefly conquered Egypt, Syria, Palestine, much of Asia Minor, Judah and Lebanon, before being finally brought under Roman control in 273 AD. The northern Mesopotamian Assyrian kingdom of Adiabene controlled areas of northeast Syria between 10 AD and 117 AD before it was conquered by Rome. The Aramaic language has been found as far afield as Hadrian's Wall in ancient Britain with inscriptions written by Assyrian and Aramean soldiers of the Roman Empire. Control of Syria eventually passed from the Romans to the Byzantines, with the split in the Roman Empire. The largely Aramaic-speaking population of Syria, during the heyday of the Byzantine Empire was probably not exceeded again until the 19th century. Prior to the Arab Islamic conquest in the 7th century AD, the bulk of the population were Aramaeans, but Syria was also home to Greek and Roman ruling classes. Assyrians still dwelt in the northeast, Phoenicians along the coasts, and Jewish and Armenian communities was also extant in major cities, with Nabataeans and pre-Islamic Arabs such as the Lakhmids, 
and Ghassanids dwelling in the deserts of southern Syria. Syriac Christianity had taken hold as the major religion, although others still followed Judaism. Mithraism, Manichaeanism, Greco-Roman religion, Canaanite religion, and Mesopotamian religion. Syria's large and prosperous population made Syria one of the most important of the Roman and Byzantine provinces, particularly during the 2nd and 3rd centuries. The Roman Emperor Alexander Severus, who was emperor from 222 to 235, was an Aramean from Syria. His cousin El Argabalus, who was emperor from 218 to 222, was also from Syria, and his family held hereditary rights to the high priesthood of the Aramean son god El Gabal. At Emesa in Syria, another Roman emperor who was a Syrian was Philip the Arab, emperor from 244 to 249. Syria is significant in the history of Christianity. Saulus of Tarsus, better known as the Apostle Paul, was converted on the road to Damascus and emerged as a significant figure in the Christian church at Antioch in ancient Syria from which he left on many of his missionary journeys. During Muhammad's era Muhammad's first interaction with the people and tribes of Syria was during the invasion of Darmachal Jandal in July 626 where he ordered his followers to invade Duma. Because Muhammad received intelligence that some tribes there were involved in highway robbery and preparing to attack Medina itself. William Montgomery Watt claims that this was the most significant expedition Muhammad ordered. At the time, even though it received little notice in the primary sources, Dumat al-Jandal was from Medina, and Watt says that there was no immediate threat to Muhammad, other than the possibility that his communications to Syria and supplies to Medina being interrupted. Watt says, it is tempting to suppose that Muhammad was already envisaging something of the expansion which took place after his death, and that the rapid march of his troops must have impressed all those who heard of it. William Muir also believes that the expedition was important as Muhammad followed. By 1,000 men reached the confines of Syria, where distant tribes had now learnt his name while the political horizon of Muhammad was extended. Islamic Syria al-Sham By AD 640, Syria was conquered by the Arab Rashidun army led by Khalid ibn al-Walid. In the mid-7th century, the Umayyad dynasty, then rulers of the empire, placed the capital of the empire in Damascus, the country's power declined. During later Umayyad rule, this was mainly due to totalitarianism, corruption, and the resulting revolutions. The Umayyad dynasty was then overthrown in 750 by the Abbasid dynasty, which moved the capital of empire to Baghdad. Arabic made official under Umayyad rule became the dominant language, replacing Greek and Aramaic of the Byzantine era. In 887, the Egypt-based Tullinids annexed Syria from the Abbasids, and were later replaced by once the Egypt-based Ikshidids and still later by the Hamdanids originating in Aleppo founded by Saif al -Dawla. Crusaders, Ayyubids, Mamluks and Nazaris Sections of Syria were held by French, English, Italian and German overlords between 1098 and 1189 AD during the Crusades, and were known collectively as the Crusader states among which the primary one in Syria was the Principality of Antioch. The coastal mountainous region was also occupied in part by the Nazari as Malus, the so-called assassins, who had intermittent confrontations and truces with the Crusader states. Later in history when the Nazaris faced renewed Frankish hostilities, they received timely assistance from the Ayyubids, 
After a century of Seljuk rule, Syria was largely conquered by the Kurdish warlord Saladin, founder of the Ayyubid dynasty of Egypt. Aleppo fell to the Mongols of Halagu in January 1260, and Damascus in March, but then Halagu was forced to break off his attack to return to China to deal with a succession dispute. A few months later, the Mamluks arrived with an army from Egypt and defeated the Mongols in the Battle of Angelut in Galilee. The Mamluk leader, Baybars, made Damascus a provincial capital. When he died, power was taken by Karluan. In the meantime, an emir named Sun al Ashkur had tried to declare himself ruler of Damascus. But he was defeated by Kaloran on 21 June 1280, and fled to northern Syria. Al-Ashkar, who had married a Mongol woman, appealed for help from the Mongols. The Mongols of the Ilkhanate took the city, but Kaloran persuaded Al-Ashkar to join him. And they fought against the Mongols on 29 October 1281, in the Second Battle of Homs, which was won by the Mamluks. In 1400, the Muslim Turco-Mongol conqueror Timur Lenk invaded Syria, sacked Aleppo and captured Damascus after defeating the Mamluk army. The city's inhabitants were massacred, except for the artisans, who were deported to Samarkand. Timur Lenk also conducted specific massacres of the Aramean and Assyrian Christian populations, greatly reducing the numbers. By the end of the 15th century, the discovery of a sea route from Europe to the Far East ended the need for an overland trade route through Syria. Ottoman Syria In 1516, the Ottoman Empire invaded the Mamluk Sultanate of Egypt, conquering Syria and incorporating it into its empire. The Ottoman system was not burdensome to Syrians, because the Turks respected Arabic as the language of the Quran, and accepted the mantle of defenders of the faith. Damascus was made the major entrepot for Mecca, and as such it acquired a holy character to Muslims. Because of the beneficial results of the countless pilgrims who passed through on the Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca, Ottoman administration followed a system that led to peaceful coexistence. Each ethno-religious minority Arab Shia Muslim, Arab Sunni Muslim, Aramean Syriac Orthodox, Greek Orthodox, Maronite Christians, Assyrian Christians, Armenians, Kurds, and Jews constituted a millet. The religious heads of each community administered all personal status laws and performed certain civil functions as well. In 1831, Ibrahim Pasha of Egypt renounced his loyalty to the empire and overran Ottoman Syria, capturing Damascus. His short-term rule over the domain attempted to change the demographics and social structure of the region. He brought thousands of Egyptian villagers to populate the plains of southern Syria, rebuilt Jaffa and settled it with veteran Egyptian soldiers aiming to turn it into a regional capital, and he crushed peasant and Druze rebellions and deported non-loyal tribes men. By 1840, however, he had to surrender the area back to the Ottomans. From 1864, Tanzimat reforms were applied on Ottoman Syria, carving out the provinces of Aleppo, Zor, Beirut, and Damascus Vilaya. Mutasarafate of Mount Lebanon was created, as well, and soon after the Mutasarafate of Jerusalem was given a separate status. During World War I, the Ottoman Empire entered the conflict on the side of Germany and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It ultimately suffered defeat and loss of control of the entire Near East to the British Empire and French Empire. During the conflict, genocide against indigenous Christian peoples was carried out by the Ottomans and their allies in the form of the Armenian Genocide and Assyrian Genocide. 
of which Deir ez zor in Ottoman Syria, was the final destination of these death marches. In the midst of World War I, two Allied diplomats secretly agreed on the post-war division of the Ottoman Empire in two respective zones of influence in the Sykes-Picot Agreement of 1916. Initially, the two territories were separated by a border that ran in an almost straight line from Jordan to Iran. However, the discovery of oil in the region of Mosul just before the end of the war led to yet another negotiation with France in 1918 to cede this region to Zone B, or the British Zone of Influence. This border was later recognized internationally when Syria became a League of Nations mandate in 1920 and has not changed to date. French Mandate In 1920, a short-lived independent kingdom of Syria was established under Faisal I of the Hashemite family. However, his rule over Syria ended after only a few months, following the Battle of Maizalan. French troops occupied Syria later that year after the San Remo Conference proposed that the League of Nations put Syria under a French mandate. General Gouraud had, according to his secretary de K, two options, either build a Syrian nation that does not exist by smoothing the rifts which still divide it all, cultivate and maintain all the phenomena which require our arbitration that these divisions give. Decay added, I must say only the second option interests me. This is what Gurur did. In 1925, Sultan al-Atrash led a revolt that broke out in the Druze mountain and spread to engulf the whole of Syria and parts of Lebanon. Al-Atrash won several battles against the French, notably the Battle of Al-Kaafa on 21 July 1925. The Battle of Al Mazra on 2 3 August 1925, and the battles of Salkhad, Al Muzifira, and Suwaida. France sent thousands of troops from Morocco and Senegal, leading the French to regain many cities, although resistance lasted until the spring of 1927. The French sentenced Sultan al Atrash to death, but he had escaped with the rebels to Transjordan and was eventually pardoned. He returned to Syria in 1937 after the signing of the Syrian-French Treaty. Syria and France negotiated a Treaty of Independence in September 1936, and Hashem al-Atassi was the first president to be elected under the first incarnation of the modern Republic of Syria. However, the treaty never came into force, because the French legislature refused to ratify it. With the fall of France in 1940 during World War II, Syria came under the control of Vichy France until the British and Free French occupied the country in the Syria-Lebanon campaign in July 1941. Continuing pressure from Syrian nationalists and the British forced the French to evacuate their troops in April 1946, leaving the country in the hands of a republican government that had been formed during the mandate. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.